According to state police, this is the fourth oldest cold case in the country to be solved using genetic genealogy. Troopers believe it is the oldest one in the state. A young genetic genealogist from New Jersey played a huge part in identifying Maurice's killer. At 20 years old, he's just a junior in college. And as Newswatch 16's Courtney Harrison shows us, this is not the first case he has helped solve. This morning, 20-year-old Eric Schubert stood alongside state police and Luzerne County officials, announcing they had their man in the 57-year-old cold case murder of Maurice Chivarella. Schubert is a junior at Elizabethtown College in Lancaster County and found an interest in genetic genealogy at the age of 10. I was homesick a lot when I was a kid, so I would see <laughs> genealogy commercials and I would say, wait a second, maybe I could do that. Uh, and I thought it would be a two week thing and here I am, but I'm certainly thankful I started. Schubert has done genealogy research for more than 10 years. He's assisted in other cold cases in Chicago and the Philadelphia area over the past two years. He came across the Chivarella case and reached out to state police. Saying, hey, uh, I, I think I know what I'm doing. If I'm not stepping on any toes, I'd be happy to help. Uh, I didn't think that would work, but it did. And I'm very <laughs> thankful for that. Um, because I knew that I, I could at least potentially get this case a little closer to being solved. Uh, and in the end, you know, I'm happy we could pull it off. Eric was only 18 years old when he was brought on to this case and spent the last two years searching through family trees, census records and military records, looking for any piece of evidence that could connect the dots and lead them to the killer. After two years, they finally got a break and a genetic match that would lead them to James Paul Fort. I'll never forget when Corporal Barron was telling me that we had just gotten that match, uh, because in that moment, I knew that we were going to find the assailant. Um, we quickly worked our way up from that match uh, to a match that in the end was over a thousand centimorgans. Eric says in the 10 years he's been doing genealogy research, this was the hardest investigation he's been a part of to date, and this won't likely be the last case he helps solve. Courtney Harrison, Newswatch 16. This day has been a long time coming for all involved, but even more so for Maurice's loved ones. Her sister and three brothers attended today's news conference. Ronald Chivarella told Newswatch 16 it does provide some peace knowing that his little sister's case is finally closed. Now that we know the individual, it, it, it gives us a sense of closure, not full closure, we'll never have that, but a sense of closure that we know the individual that did it, 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 it and that the individual isn't out committing the same crime and hurting other young uh, girls like Maurice. Our coverage of the Maurice Chivarella case will continue tonight on Newswatch 16 at 7. And you can read and watch all of our stories about the case at WNEP.com.